Hi, I'm Tim from Redback Lasers. So you want to install a new fence around home or on your farm, wherever it be, you think, what about if I grab a laser level that does vertical alignment, I can pick it up with my receiver and run through and get that fence perfectly straight. Well, it isn't as easy as you'd like to think. One millimeter movement here at a meter away is the same as 10 centimeters movement at 100 meters a meter of movement a kilometer away. So it isn't as easy as I think to adjust that laser and get it right and try and lock it onto your tripod. So with Redback lasers here, we've developed the vertical alignment and fencing kit, which goes with our EGL 624 GM and the DGL 1010 GM, and we'll go over why those lasers. In that kit, we get the laser offset bracket for your tripod, your receiver offset bracket to match that with our receiver, our scope alignment bracket and our scope. So that kit comes complete there, all made in Australia. We've set that up on the tripod. So as you can see, with the, um, the laser offset bracket, we've tightened that onto the tripod. We've now got the ability to adjust that laser and get it positioned exactly where we want it. We don't have to muck around trying to get our laser right, not, not knowing where it is. We're going to be aligning a off a plumb bob or directly underneath the scope there, and we're working as an offset from the scope to the laser at all times. So if we're shooting down a fence line, we want to shoot over the fence, we're going to offset with our laser, which means we can go ahead with our post rammer and we're never going to shadow our laser beam, and we can keep picking up everywhere we go along. So finally, We've got that receiver offset bracket. So I've attached my receiver and my staff clamp. I've turned around the adjustable bracket at the end so that we can see that quite easily through the scope and know exactly that's the fence line we're working to. Working on this side of the laser, I'm gonna operate it upside down, attach to our staff. Working on the other side, I'm simply gonna twist it around and away I go and I'm gonna pick up that laser beam quite easily. So the very first thing we're gonna do is set up our laser on that offset bracket, work out our vertical plumb point, so we could hang a plumb bob under there if we wanted to, adjust our, our laser where we're after, loosen off the rotation plate, get that laser roughly in line, tighten up, and we can make fine tune adjustments with that. We're not gonna get too worried about the fine tune adjustment right now. The other thing we need to do is calibrate the scope to to, or the laser with the scope bracket to our receiver offset bracket. So from under there at our plumb point to our laser beam, I'm gonna lock this on at that correct distance, okay? Finally, the last thing we're gonna need to do is calibrate our scope to our laser beam, and that's why we're gonna use the EGL624GM, the grade match laser, or the DGL1010GM, the digital grade match laser. With that now, we can go down to a point up to 50 metres away on the same fence line that we scope off, press a button on our receiver, and the laser is going to track around to the receiver and lock on. Now, that scope is calibrated to that laser. If we want to get up and shift the laser, press the power button on our remote control, and it will just put that into a standby mode, and it will maintain that calibration. As soon as we power that laser off, we do have to recalibrate again. Alrighty. But now it's as simple as we can either continue fencing or if we've got a longer distance fence that we want to scope into, we can scope off our fence, adjust, get our vertical alignment correct, lock the laser off, and then away we go fencing. And as I said, with that receiver offset to where we're fencing to, we're never going to shadow out that laser. Anyway, let's head down to a fence and see this in action.